Does John prefer playing by himself or with other children? Definitely by himself. Is he interested in other kids at all, or does he tend to play alongside of them or just go off and do his own thing? He, um, I would say in general, goes off and does his own thing. Does he have difficulty making eye contact, or did he when he was younger? He has great difficulty making eye contact. Matter of fact, daycare has said that that's a concern of theirs. Oh, yeah. They've noticed yep. it. Is he interested in sharing experiences with you? Does he show you things? Does he point to something he wants you to look at? Um, what he does seem to do, he will, um, if he needs help with something, he will bring it to me. For instance, if he mm -hmm. needs help sort of manipulating something, he'll bring it to me. But I, I don't think he really but truly shares. He doesn't. No. Okay. Does he seem to be in his own world, not aware of others mm. or what's going on around him? Definitely. That's a big, big concern of mine. And what's he doing during those times? Well, this may seem kind of funny, but he, he has this piece of string that he is attached to, and he will sit and twirl it and watch it okay. for long periods of time. Is he aware of personal space, boundaries? Does he know not to get too close, not to touch people? Mm, no. He, um, matter of fact, we were in the grocery store the other day, and he went up to someone in line and rubbed her leg. Um, she had nylons on, oh. and he, was, he likes the texture of nylons. And wow. So that clearly was. And he, in terms of peers and friends, he, he kind of, doesn't have a sense they're there. He'll, it's almost as if he's walking through them mm -hmm. and doesn't even really recognize that they're around him. Does he seem to be overly friendly with strangers? Does he have yes. stranger anxiety? Definitely overly, overly friendly. No stranger anxiety at all. Does he have any obsessive interests? Is there anything that he's fixated on, certain toys or activities? Mm. Trains. Uh, he loves his trains. He can sit and play with his trains, run them back and forth on the carpet or the couch for hours at a time. Oh, so. um, and sort of doesn't even, isn't even aware of what's going on around mm -hmm. him. And the string, the piece of string, he, he can He could do twirl that, twirl for a long very time. Very long period of time. So his play is unusual and repetitive. He'll do the same thing over yes. and over. Does he get upset with change? Do things have to be a certain way? Um, I'd say yes to that. Um, to give you an example, um, we take a very specific car route to and from daycare. Mm -hmm. And he seems to have this ability to know the route and be aware of that. And if I divert from that at all, if I mm. stop at the gas station, grocery store, melts down. OK, that upsets yeah. him. How about? In his play, does he line up things mm -hmm. and then get upset if you move mm -hmm. them? Um, his trains, he, he's very specific. He lines them up, sorts them by color, mm -hmm. um, is very particular about that. And if I just go over and, you know, sort of humorously play with him or try to move them, meltdown. Mm. He just screeches and screams. So are transitions difficult for him when it's time to stop an activity and do something mm -hmm. else? If, I, if he's engaged in his trains or watching a train video and I say, you know, John, it's time to do so and so, mm -hmm. melts down, wow. melts down, yeah. Does he have any unusual rituals or patterns that he has to follow? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Um, he has this funny thing with his socks. Hmm. He has to have his socks up, up high, but then he doesn't, I don't think he likes the feeling on his legs, so he pulls at them, and they get all stretched out. Wow, so he's sensitive to that Very sensitive. Feeling. Food on his plate, mm -hmm. if it touches each other, will not eat it. If it's not on his Thomas the Tank train plate, will not eat it. Wow, so he is very particular. Very particular. Any repetitive movements? Flapping his hands, staring at his fingers, rocking, walking on his toes. Hmm. He um, he does walk on his toes, um, and he does. You mean this? Yeah, yes. when he's excited, he, it, yeah, like that, and he, okay. yeah, he does okay. that a lot. Does he excessively mm. crave movement? Is he always climbing, running, spinning, jumping, swinging? Swinging is probably his biggest, hmm. and we have this. Um, 
swing that we got many, many years ago, my husband and I, it sort of looks like a shape like an egg. And he likes to crawl in there and swing and sort of curl up and swing and swing and swing. He can do that for hours. Hours. Hours at a time. Is he unresponsive at times when you talk to him? Does he seem not to hear you? Mm-hmm. Um, matter of fact, when he, let's see, he was about a year old, we actually had his hearing tested. Mm -hmm. And it came back normal. normal. Um, and so, yeah, I can call his name 10, 15 times, especially if he's engrossed in something. Mm -hmm. Doesn't respond mm -hmm. at all. Is he hypersensitive to sounds? Do any noises bother him? Um, hmm. Uh, not so much anymore, I don't think. But in the past, vacuum cleaners, oh, okay. the hair dryer. Mm -hmm. You know, we used to try to, to clip his hair with the hair clippers. That was typically very, it seemed distressful to him. Okay. Yeah. Is he distressed when he's around a lot of people? Do crowds bother him? Mm -hmm. we, um, we've attempted, I have a, a five-year-old son, hmm. Jake, and um, you know, we like to go to the mall, restaurants, and he just doesn't seem to be able to tolerate that. Mm -hmm. And he, um, during his second year um, birthday party, he got so distressed that he actually had to go into his room and close the door Aww. at his own birthday party. So. Oh, that's sad. Yes, it was. Is he unusually fascinated by repetitive or spinning movements? You mean like fans? Fans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, when he was really little, he liked really liked our ceiling fan. He liked mm -hmm. to lay on the floor and watch it. And now when my husband and I go to Home Depot, which we do very frequently, <laughs> so we're remodeling our house, he zooms right to the, the fan section and, and loves to play, spin them and, and watch them and go around. And he'll just stand there and oh, watch yeah. them? Yep. Okay. And um, I don't know if any other examples. TV credits mm -hmm. on the TV. He doesn't seem to really be interested in what's on the TV, unless, of course, it's Thomas the Tank. Um, but he does like, he seems to like to stand and watch the credits go by. Okay, so that repetitive movement. Movement that seems to captivate pattern, yeah. him. Yeah. Does he excessively mouth, smell, or lick objects? Um, hmm. Smells his food. Okay. But nothing inanimate, nothing unusual. Um, well, his fingers. Oh, like okay. he'll, he rubs things. Mm -hmm. um, he seems to like the texture of things. So he'll rub the desk or my yeah. arm, and then, then he'll kind of smell his smell fingers. Smell his fingers yeah. after touching something. Yep. Yeah. Does he dislike being touched or touching certain things? Uh, he doesn't really like to be hugged. Okay. So I would say yes to that. And does he get unusually upset if his hands are a little bit dirty or sticky, if he gets water on his clothes? Does that bother no, him? No, I don't think in particular. Is he not able to tolerate having his teeth brushed, hair combed, nails cut, going in bare feet? Oops. <laughs> That's a big one. Um, and it's, you know, it's a daily routine for us to brush his teeth, mm -hmm. wash his face, and literally, my husband and I have to hold him down. Mm. And again, it's almost like he's, he's distressed by it. Right. Yeah, it it's really not that he's just him. being oppositional or mm -hmm. pushing us away, or I don't feel like doing this right now. It really seems to to upset him, but yeah. he's got to brush his teeth. Right. Yeah. Is he bothered by how clothing feels? Yes, he likes soft clothes. Mm -hmm. At this point, we're in sweatpants oh. only. Um, no turtlenecks, any collar. He doesn't like anything around his neck. Um, and, then you and he he. He really likes to wear short sleeve. He's hmm. he wears short sleeve clothing even in the winter. Okay. I mean, he really so long is, sleeves bother him. They bother too. him. Okay. Yeah. He doesn't like the feeling around his hands. I guess I don't know. How about tolerance for pain? Hmm. Is that normal? Um. Definitely not. And I'll give you an example. Um, he was outside playing. Apparently fell. Came in the house. This was several months ago, and a couple hours after he was in the house, we noticed that he wasn't really using his right hand. Mm. And we thought, that's a little odd. And looked, and sure enough, his arm was swollen right here. And we thought, obviously, something sort of significant had happened. Took him to the emergency room, and his arm was broken. He oh, never cried. Oh, my goodness. And he never cried. Never cried. Wow. Does he have trouble falling and staying asleep? Mm -hmm. Falling, sleeping's a big problem. Um, he typically likes me to lay down with him to help him fall asleep. Mm -hmm. And then he's usually up several times during the night. 
Um, and we're very careful about locking the front and back door, et cetera, because I found him wandering around the house at night. Mm. How about, is he a picky eater? Does he have to eat the same <laughs> foods over and over? Yes, that's a, that's a funny one. Um, he will eat three foods, pancakes, french fries, chicken nuggets. Wow, and he could eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner Absolutely. every day? Absolutely, and that mm. is it. And they must be arranged on his special plate. Now, how old was John when he first walked? About 11 months. Oh, okay, so it was mm -hmm. early. Yep. How old was he when he started saying words other than mama and dada? Shortly after that, I would say around a year. Okay. And the first words, he, you know, he really didn't say mama and dada that we could, we could understand, mm -hmm. but he did say choo-choo. That really was the first mm -hmm. clear word we could understand. Um, let me think of some others. Go, up, jump, I okay. think would have been. And then he stopped talking. He said these words for a short period of time, mm -hmm. and then he stopped talking. And only until very recently has he, has he started yeah, speaking began. again. Okay. And we really became alarmed. Sure, yeah. sure. Does he seem to have better visual motor and nonverbal skills than language skills? Definitely. I mean, clearly his speech is delayed. Mm -hmm. um, and he's very good with um, using the DVD player huh. to put his Thomas videos in yeah. and out. Um, he can puzzles. Puzzles. He's pretty good okay. at it. Yep. Does he use words at all to communicate? Hmm. Not really. If no. he needs something, will he ever use a word, or does he usually gesture? He usually gestures. He pulls okay. me towards whatever it is that he needs. Yeah, okay. he really he really doesn't communicate. Anything unusual about his speech or his vocalizations? Does he make repetitive, odd noises? Well, he makes a sort of ticka, ticka, ticka. Oh. Uh, and he uses it a lot, Okay. sort of throughout the day. I, I think it's sort of a train sound, okay. but I'm not really That's sure. Does he inappropriately repeat or mimic what other people say? Mm -hmm. He will um, repeat back a question that I've asked him. He usually doesn't get the whole question. Mm -hmm. He'll sort of focus on the end, but he'll say it over and over and mm -hmm. over again. Okay. Does he memorize and recite things from movies, cartoons, like from the Thomas tapes? He does. Um, when he's engaged in play, mm -hmm. I will hear him reciting long sentences from, wow. directly from, verbatim, from the Thomas videos. Okay. Hm. Yeah, over and over again. And it, it's not applying to what he's playing with, necessarily. Okay. And it's not to communicate, he's just no, talking to himself. No, he's just talking himself. to himself. Yep. Does he have any special abilities, anything that seems phenomenal compared to his other abilities? Um, I'd have to say his memory. Okay. He, um, you know, even though he doesn't really communicate back and forth with me or anyone else in our family, or at daycare, he is able to label things. He hmm. knows all of the Thomas characters' names, their numbers, their colors, wow. their function. I mean, it's amazing to me. Okay. But then he doesn't really use that to use communicate. That. No. It's, it's just memorized yeah. language. Yeah. Is he overreactive, explosive, irritable? Does he get upset easily? Yes. What What might bother him? Um, if I interrupt the Thomas video, mm. playing with his trains, moving his trains, um, taking the string from him. He oh, just has a complete okay. meltdown. So any it's, interruption It's like just, um, you know, it's really, he's just, he's really, really. What will he do when he has a meltdown? Um, he will try to hit me. He screams, yeah. bangs his head. Oh, my. And for a very, very long period of time. And him. I cannot consult yeah. him, no. So he's pretty moody. He has pretty dramatic mood changes. He does, you know, and it's it's funny. I've been I've been trying to keep track of his moods mm -hmm. and the situation that surrounds them, and I just can't I can't really come up with a reason why they're happening. Yeah. They just seem to pop out of they're nowhere. Is he empathetic and caring? Does he notice if you're upset or hurt? Does he do things mm -hmm. to make you feel better? Does he do things to please you? Um, this is a very tough one for me. Um, he really um, doesn't seem to, sh to be able to recognize emotions in anyone. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, um, he just, 
you know, he's never spontaneously come up and hugged me or really seems to be aware of other people's needs at all. Mm -hmm. Does he have any unusual fears? Anything he's afraid of that seems odd? Um, he doesn't like elevators. Okay. And I think the thing that really is puzzling to me, he doesn't like public toilets. Hmm. He'll go use our toilet at home. You know, we're, we're toilet training him, but public toilets, no way. He won't go Absolutely in. Absolutely not. Does he seem to have a short attention span? Yes. Is there anything that can hold his attention for long? Thomas videos, playing with his trains, twirling his string, absolutely. And how long could he do those oh, things? Sometimes hours. If you let him, he could move. Yep. If I don't interrupt him, hours. Is he aware of danger or is he fearless? <laughs> he doesn't have any sense of danger. Um, I can give you an example. We have a pool in our backyard. Mm -hmm. um, and last summer I looked out and he had jumped in um, and almost drowned. Oh my. Um, and just a couple nights ago, I caught him trying to climb out his bedroom window. Wow. So we have now nailed the, the window shut. Good for so you. So that we, um, we at least have comfort in that. So. Good.